Hey everyone, this is Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures and this is a finish. So um, the story behind this particular painting, it's not necessarily, um, if you look at all my paintings, you know, it's not a tree, it's not a flower, but it's got flowers in it and butterflies. Um, but I saw this on another website and then I saw it on Stitcherista. She did this one and I just haven't been able to get her out of my mind. She was like a siren of, you know, I think like green is my favorite color and her hair just sucked me in. And then I love aquas and teals and this color palette is just, it makes me feel so good when I see her and I just haven't been able to get this photo out of my head and so one day if you go back and watch um, my videos I found her on AliExpress and I was like oh, I've got to get her and so I got her um, I received this back March 2019 so it's been almost a year and it took 32 days to get to me. And so um, I pulled her out because it's slash the stash 2020. So I pulled her out as my next work in progress. Um, so let's go over some things. Um, she came from AliExpress and she's a 45 by 45 centimeter square full, full drill. There were 35 colors. Um, I did receive an inventory sheet with, um, for those of you new to diamond painting, sometimes you get an inventory sheet and sometimes you don't. Right here, um, I'm gonna put my unboxing video of her. If you wanna see me ooing and aahing of her. Um, so yeah, I am so excited. Um, that she is completed. I am going to, um, I have to seal her and we'll get into more details, but um, the drills are starting to pop and I'll go into it. And I just pulled her out and realized there was a drill over here that had already popped off. If you can see that right there. So, um, and before I hit the video camera, um, a couple of drills had popped off, but they were still on the canvas. So I went and I put them back and there's this little plastic pink flake right here and it's driving me crazy, crazy, crazy. So as I talk, I'm going to remove it. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd go through and show you everything. So I do do these inventory sheet or this uh, diamond painting review sheet. That's how I know where I got it. Um, this was uh, $16.05 um, was the cost of it, dollars, and um, the different star ratings I do. So just to remind you, the unboxing got a 3.75 stars out of five, um, and her post review is gonna be 3.5 stars, and I'm gonna go over that with you right now. Okay, so first off, the, the drills. Okay, well actually, number one, canvas glue. So I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's like a little ridge right here. When I went to do her, right here and right here had developed a bubble, and I have to go back and see my video. I can't remember um, if the bubble was already there. So I had to do a lot of um, fixing it and it really only fixed it enough for me to put the drills down, but it's still there. So once I seal and frame it, hopefully that'll, you know, it'll flatten out. Um, so yeah, so I actually gave it a 0.5 star, a half a star because um, it's also the glue was not as sticky as it should have been in some areas. It was slippery in others. There were rivers, and I don't believe I did this particular because it was a bubble. Um, and what what I had to do is actually um, 
cut and pull so the glue laid flat. So it was like when the glue had gone down, the canvas had a little bend in it and didn't lay to the canvas like it should have. Um, symbol clarity. Symbol clarity was dead on. Here's an example of the symbols and they were printed beautifully on the canvas. I did not have any issue with the symbols. And I had on here 35 colors, but it actually was 44. I don't know why I put 35, so I'm gonna have to make that change. But the symbols were gorgeous. Um, so they got a full star there. Drill quality and quantity. So I left myself some notes from when I unboxed and one of the drills was oily. There was so much static. Um, I actually put these little static beads inside. Um, the static was so bad, it literally had like walled up and created almost like drill wallpaper in here until I put those beads in there. Um, yeah, and then three of the colors had white trash in it. Um, let me see if you can see it in here. I don't know, can you see that? Look at that. And it was actually more than three colors. Um, by the time I started this, this was just like, I washed my hands every time I used this um, because it was just crazy. Yeah, here you can see some more of that those white flakes. I, I want to say it's powder maybe to keep it from the oil, but I was, I just kept thinking of bugs. I kept thinking of the coronavirus. Oh my goodness. Um, also did I run out? So this was how many whites I had left. Yeah. And um, I did run out of a couple because of the quality of the drills. And here, let me show you the trash. Um, it doesn't seem like a lot, but I also used a lot of bad drills because I just wanted to get it done. But this was the trash. And um, that's probably why I have the popping as well because I wasn't as anal retentive as I normally am. Um, so yeah, um, and one color actually had a, I called it a melted plastic bug. It looked like a bug, but it was plastic. I just wanted to throw up in my mouth, <laughs> but these are, as you can see, here's the colors. Some of them, I don't have any of the colors and then here's the other. And then the big colors I had, I had in these because they didn't fit in the little guys. And then the white, this was completely full to the top. And this is all I had left. So, um, design success, I gave a full star. Come on guys, this is absolutely beautiful. If you follow my Instagram page, I do, um, Put up there my progress as I go along every day to two to three days. Check out my Instagram. It's DP underscore addiction underscore adventures. Um, but the design success was absolutely gorgeous um, for a 45 by 45. And then my experience. Um, I didn't give it a full um, star. It was a 0.75 because I absolutely like, would run to my desk to do this. I loved working on this. However, because of the drills and the white stuff and, you know, having to deal with the canvas, it lowered it down because it was just frustrating because the design was so beautiful. So yeah, so this is my teen dream and I can't wait to seal her. Um, I use the Tombow water-based glue. Um, and I seal her with that. Um, I don't have one right here easily accessible to show you. 
um, the ceiling and then I need to find a frame for her. So thank you so much for hanging around. Thank you for watching this video. Remember, if you want to participate in my year long slash the stash 2020, answer the question down below. And the question this time is, um, what is the, the worst canvas you've ever had to work on? And then what did you do with that canvas? Did you throw it away? Did you push through it? Um, the worst canvas I've ever worked on was uh, my All the Best People Are Crazy, but I pushed through it because I loved the Mad Hatter. Um, but the second worst was also the penguin that I ended up just throwing away. And I think that beat the Mad Hatter one. It was just, it was horrible. Um, so yeah, so tell me what was the worst canvas that you've worked on so far. If you're a newbie, tell me, um, what, what you fear most about something happening in the diamond painting craft. You know, is it popping drills? Is it running out of drills? If it, is it a not successful design? Um, yeah, so just kind of share your world and I can't wait to hear from you. Until next time, be blessed. Take care. Bye-bye.